Four months, four months, people have been asking me about the graphic transitions that I've been using inside of my videos. Now, some people thought it was After Effects, some thought it was Premiere Pro, but today, my friends, I tell all, since January, we here at BR Media have been working on the motion graphic transition packs to make them some of the best motion graphic transitions out there. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly videos all about teaching you to become a better video editor. So if you want to level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on anything. Now, normally when we're making a pack, we first make a list of the most important things we think it should have. So with this transition pack, first they have to look good, but not too flashy. A good transition doesn't distract from the content. It should almost go unnoticed to the audience. Second, they have to be customizable, but not overly complicated. We want these to be fast and flexible for many different types of videos. And there's nothing worse than buying a pack and only using a few transitions a few times. Third, there has to be sound effects. While transitions are technically visual, they will fall flat if there isn't high quality sound design to go with them. And fourth, these transitions have to work inside of both DaVinci Resolve 16 and 17, along with the free version, because I don't wanna exclude people who haven't upgraded yet. So with that list, we started researching practical transitions used by some of the biggest creators out there, and then we started creating. And what we came up with was four packs. I know you thought I was gonna say one. Pack one is all shape transitions. Pack two is wipes. Pack three are outlines. And then pack four, the ultimate motion graphic transition pack. So you may be asking yourself like, what the heck is the ultimate motion graphic transition pack and why is it so long? I didn't know how to make the name any shorter. Let's just be honest here. But what it comes with is pack one, two, and three and that all together is 115 customizable transitions, 460 sound effects, multiple animation options. So basically each transition can be used multiple different ways. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute because that is probably one of the coolest parts about this pack. Now, of course, they're fully retimable. They work with any resolution and they work in DaVinci Resolve 16, 17, and the free version. So with all that said, let me show you what I'm talking about. So in DaVinci Resolve, if I want to add one of the transitions, I'm going to do it typically the normal way by going up to the effects library, going to video transitions, and then scrolling down to, well, whatever I actually want. So for this case, I'm going to grab this card bottom because this is the one that you guys have probably seen me use the most. Then I'll just make it as long as I want. So if I play it back, you can see that it has this card animation that kind of just wipes across the screen. Now, one of the coolest things about this is that we can actually just, let's say, go right in the middle right here. So over in the inspector tab, you can see that we have type and I can change it from bottom left to bottom right. And this just changes the pivot point of where that starts, but you can even do more with it and just click rotate down. So now it's actually gonna come from the top down like so. And if you don't want the background to also rotate, you can just uncheck that right here under animated background. So now when we just watch it, the background doesn't move at all, but I kind of like it, so I'm gonna leave it on. Anyway, so once you have the transition animation going the way you want, we're gonna change these colors because honestly, they're a little wild. So normally when I'm picking colors for these transitions, I try to use the transitions to actually blend the colors between the two clips. And I'll show you how I do that. I'll go to the first part of the transition right here where I can see the first color, and then I'll hit the drop down arrow right here and click on color and then pick screen color then whatever the most apparent color is in your video, I usually click on that, make it a little lighter like this, then I'll hit okay. Then I'll move to the other side to where I see this third color and I'll hit the drop down arrow there. There's a lot of white and gray in the scene, so I'll just go ahead and click on this building and play around with the color, right? Maybe make it a little darker. So now I have the first and the third color. All I have to do is get the second one now and I'll just go to the middle like this. You can see that right now, this color does not go with these two right here. So I need to have kind of like a transition color in between it. What I'll do is I'll hit the drop down arrow under color two and then I'll select like one of these colors right here. So let's just say this top one and I'll make it a lot darker, right? Because this color is really dark and this one's a lot lighter. So if I bridge the gap with like a gray or a blue, I think that could work really well. And I can also play around with the color just to get it where I want it. Then once we do that, we'll just see how it looks. 
So now what we can do is add a sound effect because like I said earlier, while transitions themselves mainly are visual, audio is a huge part in really selling it. So I'll just pull up the sound library that comes with the pack and you can see that there's four different times. So if you want a really quick transition, you got 0.5. And if you want a longer transition, we have all the way up to two seconds. So because this is one second, I'm gonna grab it, I'll drag it down on the timeline, and then we can just take a listen to it. If you wanna keep this transition with the color scheme and all of that stuff, you can actually save it. So if you right click on the transition itself, you can go down to create transition presets and then you can just name it whatever the heck you want and hit OK. So now if I scroll up in my effects library under video transitions, I'll have this section under user that has this card transition saved right here. All right, so if you guys wanna use these transitions to help level up your video and also help support us in what we're doing here at BR Media, click the link down below to get the pack today. So I got a question for you. What pack should we make next? Let me know in the comments below. And if there's something that you wanna see us add into the motion graphic transition pack, let me know down below also. Anyway, if you want more videos like this, click on the top for all of our DaVinci Resolve tutorials or click on the bottom for a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.